Welcome back to First Defense PH, the channel covering all things Philippine military modernization, strategic analysis, and global defense developments that impact our homeland. Today we'll be discussing important news that may seem like a technical detail at first glance, but in reality has significant implications for the capabilities of the Philippine Navy. Our newest offshore patrol vessel, the King Suleiman class, is now confirmed to be equipped with the Leonardo SPS 732 radar, a technology that will serve as the ship's eyes in safeguarding our maritime territory. In the Philippines, ever-evolving maritime security landscape, every technological detail installed on a Navy vessel has strategic significance. The recent confirmation that the Raja Suleiman class offshore patrol vessel, OPV, is equipped with the Leonardo SPS 732 air and surface search radar marks a significant step in the country's maritime modernization journey. The SPS 732 radar is an Italian-made 2D air and surface search system that offers long-range detection capabilities. According to specifications, the radar is capable of detecting air targets up to 100 nautical miles, approximately 185 kilometers, a geographically equivalent distance from Manila to Baguio. The Raja Suleiman class offshore patrol vessel, built by HD Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea, measures 94.4 meters in length and displaces approximately 2,400 tons. It is designed for multi-purpose use, exclusive economic zone, EEZ patrols, maritime law enforcement, anti-smuggling operations, search and rescue missions, and even limited roles in armed conflict. The effectiveness of a modern warship depends not only on its hull, engines, and weapons. Sensors, particularly radar, are the ship's eyes. Without radar, a ship would be blind to detecting threats or tracking the movements of surrounding ships and aircraft. The presence of the Leonardo SPS 732 provides this ship with a much broader vision than previous generations. This radar is designed to remain optimal in conditions full of environmental disturbances. The open sea often presents challenges, such as wave interference, weather, and water surface reflections. The SPS 732 is capable of distinguishing real threats from false echoes and detecting small targets such as fast attack craft, a typical threat of asymmetric warfare. More importantly, the SPS 732 radar has the capability to detect sea-skimming missiles, anti-ship missiles that fly low above the sea surface to make them difficult to detect. For a maritime nation like the Philippines, this capability is vital as potential adversaries in the region continue to strengthen their missile arsenals. This radar is designed to remain optimal in conditions full of environmental disturbances. The open sea often presents challenges such as wave interference, weather, and water surface reflections. The SPS 732 is capable of distinguishing real threats from false echoes and detecting small targets such as fast attack craft, a typical threat of asymmetric warfare. More importantly, the SPS 732 radar has the capability to detect sea skimming missiles anti-ship missiles that fly low above the sea surface to make them difficult to detect. For a maritime nation like the Philippines, this capability is vital, as potential adversaries in the region continue to strengthen their missile arsenals. Geographically, the Philippines has one of the largest maritime territories in the world, spanning the West Philippine Sea, the Sulu Sea, and the Philippine Sea. Situational awareness is a key requirement. The SPS-732 radar expands the Philippine Navy's ability to track aircraft, vessels, and potential threats from long range, providing commanders with a more robust information base for decision-making. This radar was developed by Leonardo, 
an Italian defense company with experience providing advanced systems to numerous NATO navies. The SPS 732 is designed to be lightweight and compact, suitable for installation on patrol vessels or corvettes that lack the space for a full-sized 3D radar. While not the most advanced phased array radars like the TRS-4D or Smart SMK-2 typically installed on frigates and destroyers, the SPS-732 remains highly effective for the mission profile of the King Suleiman class OPV, maritime patrol, law enforcement and defense against small to medium-sized threats. Another advantage of this radar lies in its system integration. Data captured by the SPS-732 can be fed into the ship's Combat Management System CMS, and then shared with the Philippine Navy's command network. Thus, the ship is not only a standalone unit, but also a node in the fleet's sensor network. This sensor network integration will become increasingly important as Philippine defense cooperation with key allies like the United States and Japan increases. The SPS-732 radar allows Philippine ships to share data more quickly and accurately, enhancing interoperability in joint operations. Besides strengthening individual ship capabilities, the presence of this radar also serves as a stepping stone for the Philippine Navy to adapt to more advanced sensor systems in the future. The operational experience of the SPS-732 will be crucial as it enters the era of modern 3D radars on new generation frigates and corvettes. The comparison with older Philippine vessels is stark. Many legacy vessels still rely on outdated navigation radars, some even using civilian radars. With the SPS-732, the King Suleiman class represents a significant capability leap in detection and situational awareness. Amid rising tensions in the West Philippine Sea, the decision to equip ships with advanced radars like the SPS-732 demonstrates that the Philippine Navy's modernization is not just about the number of ships, but also the quality of sensors and technology that underpin combat effectiveness. The King Suleiman class offshore patrol vessels are now not only a symbol of fleet modernization, but also a representation of the Philippines' new defense philosophy. Earlier detection means longer survival. With the Leonardo SPS 732 radar, the Philippine Navy has eyes that can see further, clearer, and faster. A much needed advantage in an increasingly competitive maritime landscape. Ultimately, the installation of the Leonardo SPS 732 radar on the King Suleiman class offshore patrol vessels is not just about sensor technology, but also about the direction of the Philippines, maritime defense strategy. This radar is the foundation for sharper situational awareness, a step forward toward fleet integration, and a symbol that the Philippines is serious about building the future of its navy. Will this move be the first step toward a more independent and resilient maritime force in the region? We will soon find out. Thank you for watching First Defense PH. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest Philippine defense news. Stay sharp, stay alert, and see you in the next video.